Alrighty guys, as promised during the last video, we reached the 750 like target within like a day. I said that you guys could have a week, but we made it in a day. So, so this is the secret Dropbox bunker base design that I've never seen before. I've, I've never seen anyone do this before, but I'm going to share it with you today. I've used this design over the last month and I've been raided probably six to 10 times and not once have they found the secret bunker. So let's get straight into it. What we're gonna start off with is the concept so that you guys can you know, adapt this and make it into whatever you want. And then after that, I'll show you the base that I've been using that I feel works really well with this concept. So what you're gonna wanna do is build yourself a low foundation and a foundation that is clipped the next level up from that and then build yourself a wall. Upgrade the higher foundation to sheet metal. And then the way this works is with a drop box. So what you wanna do is stand on the low foundation and it doesn't matter to start off with what direction the drop box is facing, but you want to move it all the way to the top until it stops and just turns blue. So for me, that's gonna be like about there. And then you wanna come down just a, just a fraction, like that far and place your dropbox there so yeah and if you've done this correctly <laughs> what will happen is the dropbox will not clip through the foundation and you can upgrade this wall to whatever you want it can be armored but you'll be able to loot the dropbox so you can actually see it through the floor through the foundation without physically seeing it so it's 100% hidden. The only way that anyone's going to ever find this is if they know this design and they're specifically looking in these corners for the dropbox. And even then, if they find it, they still have to raid through an armored wall or a sheet metal foundation. <laughs> so it's actually insane. It's actually insane, this concept. And unfortunately, what happens is you can't do this with an armored foundation. So the highest tier that you can use for the foundation is sheet metal. And an important thing to note is that once you put the drop box onto the side of the foundation, you won't be able to upgrade it at all. So, so I'm trying to upgrade that to armored and it won't let me do it. So you have to, up, that's why you have to upgrade to sheet metal first and then put the drop box on. So unfortunately, if you do mess this up, then you're gonna have to you know, destroy the foundation. So make sure you do it quickly so you can use your hammer. But I probably get this right seven, eight, nine times out of 10 these days, now that I've practiced it a bit. And <laughs> so that's the concept. Uh, and like I said, it's actually insane. It has saved us so many times over the last month. But anyway, let's move on to the base build. And this is the base that I've been using over the last month, playing, you know, duo mainly with Snipe. And it has just been so good. It's been so good. So what you want to do is start off by placing a low foundation. A relatively flat spot for this is good, but, you know, place a low foundation and then clip a square foundation to that. Similar to what we just did. And then from there, you can start off as a two by one. So this is your little starter base. You can have whatever, you know, you can have this however you want. It doesn't matter. And you can, you can upgrade this too. All right. So what you want to do is operate out of this two by one until you feel like you have, you know, enough resources that you want to put down the main base. And the extension to this is simply, it will become a two by two with triangle foundation. So I'd need to calculate exactly how much stone it will cost, but it's probably five, well, I don't know, five to 10K stone probably to complete this base. So put your two square foundations there, leave them as twig. This is really important. Leave those as twig and then clip the low foundation triangle honeycomb and do that the entire way around the base. And then you can have the entrance to your base wherever you want. So I'd probably put it like here. And then you can have this, you know, however you like. I normally, I normally just build low, like half walls here. And you know, 
seal it off, something like that. And the rest of the honeycomb, you just want to do the same, same kind of thing. Just fill it all in. Okay, so this is what the inside should look like. And what you want to do from there is upgrade all of this to stone, except for these two foundations, these two square foundations. So let's skip ahead to where I've done that. Okay, so as you can see, I upgraded to sheet metal because I have no stone on this building server. But this is what pretty much what you're going to end up with, this kind of design. And this is where the little Dropbox uh, loot room comes into play. So it actually sits in the honeycomb of the base, in one of these three triangle honeycombs. And in this case, it's going to be on this side. Okay, so like we did, exactly like we did before, you've got the low triangle and the high, high square foundation. Build yourself a wall facing the correct way. Upgrade the bottom foundation there to sheet metal. Leave the top one twig for now. Grab your drop box and place it exactly like I showed you at the start. So let it go blue and then drop down just a tiny fraction. And that's worked first time. So you can see you can loot it. Sometimes if you stand directly over it, it won't allow you to loot. But if you go on an angle, then you'll be able to open from there. Just like before, I'd normally upgrade this to armored. And there you have it. You have one side of your secret Dropbox loot storage sorted. So at the moment, this is the Dropbox to put your loot into the bunker into the loot room, but you're obviously going to want a way to get the loot out as well. There's a few ways that you can do this. The first way is doing exactly the same thing on this side, obviously with the Dropbox facing the other way. So it's the exact same process, so I don't feel like I need to show you guys that. But that way you can, you know, have one side for putting the loot in, one side for collecting the loot out. The other option is to have a Dropbox towards the outside of the base. So you'd have one coming in, into the loot room, and another one to send the loot outside. And that's probably not a bad idea because if you get raided and you know the, the people who raid you grief the base so you can't actually get back inside, then you, probably, you pretty much have to wait for the base to decay to get your hidden loot. Whereas if you have already set up an external drop box, then you can just spawn in your loot room and you know send all the loot out and be on your merry way. So I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But for now, I'll show you how I tend to set this little base up in here. So you can set this loot up however you want. What I would tend to do is put a few you know high triangle floors and you can set some boxes up here. But let's say for now, you just do something like that. And then you can do exactly the same thing on the other side. So you've got loot upstairs and then down here you'd have your sleeping bag. And you name that bunker or whatever you want to name it. And yeah, I tend to use barbecues and boxes down here because you seem to be able to fit a little bit more loot in. So that kind of, that kind of setup. And then you can do exactly the same thing on the other side there. There'd be enough space for the same setup there and another large box up the top there. The thing you want to keep in mind is if you're doing this setup with the triangle floors, if I show you here, if this is a sheet metal wall, then you can actually see you can actually see the floor clipping through. So I'd recommend if you're doing the triangle floor setup in the bunker, make sure you upgrade the wall to armored. And there you have it. That is the <laughs> that is the Dropbox idea, the secret Dropbox loot storage design. And I'll quickly show you guys how you can set up the external Dropbox as well. Okay, something I failed to show you before is if you do want the Dropbox to you know send loot to the outside of the base then it is a slightly very slightly different setup on the inside so in the triangle um, honeycomb where you have your you know your loot storage on the outside so say this is the wall 
that leads to the outside. What you actually need to do is this wall here, or whichever wall you want to use to send the loot out, you actually need to put a high foundation there. And I'll show you why in a second, but you need to have the high foundation so that you can do the same, you know, drop box design that I showed you before. Okay, and then what you do is you upgrade that to your sheet metal, do your Dropbox design. So this is, remember you wanna have this one with the loot being sent out, like so. Okay, so you've got your little Dropbox sending loot outside here. And then what I do here, I just keep this as, you know, sheet metal so it doesn't raise suspicion. So for anyone who's slightly confused, what we're looking at here, right? So this, this side here, what we're looking at is this part of the base here, just, you know, to show you how you would do the external Dropbox design. Okay, so you've got your Dropbox here to receive loot and Dropbox here to send loot outside. And what I would do here is put a turret here Again, to, you know, so you don't raise suspicion. So I'd put a turret and I don't actually have the blueprint on this build server, but I'd put, you know, prison cell gates or something here. Pop the turret on the top there. And, you know, no one is gonna be looking <laughs> behind here for a drop, for a drop box. Um, and that way you can, you know, utilize this as your safety net. But if you do get raided and griefed, that's a way to send the loot outside the base. I would always have you know, a two-way channel inside the base though, so that you can send and receive loot inside your base and not worry about, you know, collecting all your juicy loot while you're outside. So that pretty much does it. There's one more thing that I, I'm gonna show you guys, and that is an additional safety measure that you can add to this design. And I'm not, not gonna show you because I have no components because I'm on this stupid build server where you can't craft stuff but I would make a, a vending machine and you can actually clip the vending machine. You can put the vending machine right against this wall, okay? And vending machines have 1,250 health, so they're really hard to destroy. And what I would do is, you know, check where the, where the white lines are here and put a box just slightly over where that line clips and then put my vending machine in here so that you know, you know, once you remove the box, you'll still be able to loot just at the very corner of the Dropbox. And yeah, there you have it, guys. <laughs> uh, this is the 100% hidden Dropbox bunker design. And like I mentioned earlier, I've never seen it before. So if you guys find this useful, you know, or are planning to use it in your next wipe, then make sure that you like the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it, but have fun. And uh, I'd love to hear if you guys successfully avoid raids or successfully save all your best loot during a raid by using this this method. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. I'll I'll see you next time.